All right, Saints Nation, welcome back. Welcome back. We are going to be moving things over here to bind for map number three here of our NECC regular season matchup. And it's actually going to be the second last matchup of the NECC regular yes. season. So a lot on the line. Both teams are looking for wins here. St. Clair, at best, could go five and four. And at best right now for the side of UMass Lowell would be four and four, I believe it is. Something along those lines. Yeah. Um, actually, UMass might have three games left now because of that. So yes. they could be looking to go five and four, yeah. maybe potentially here as well. But with that being said, heading over to bind, we are going to be and the agent select St. Clair dropping the last game 13 to 10, but they did win their first game 13 to 10. So this is anybody's. Yeah, and bind it's it's an old it's an old classic in Valorant. Everyone definitely familiar with it. Seeing select some pretty traditional comps. Agent. Double Brimmy Stimmy is gonna come out. It's an absolute necessity on Bind. This map is just all out warfare. Run it down mid. See who ends up being the better. Gonna see a couple wrinkles for both teams. Gonna see the sky for Wombat. Gonna see the, the Viper gonna be for Cutie. So a couple different ideas of how to play this. Are, say we're gonna see a pretty mirror match the otherwise. Not surprising, a couple raises and solvers are pretty good. But that Sky and that Viper difference, that, that's a way different, that's a completely different style to play Bind. So we haven't really seen Vcan play Chamber. Uh, that's Oh my god, yeah, Vcan's on Chamber. Yeah, that is something that I'm really, really interested to see. I mean, Blossom, we've seen the Ray's place. We've hey, seen Strider on the KJ rim. like that. Yeah, like, all, all this seems very, very basic for the side of St. Clair. The big difference is, it, it's a very basic agent setup here for St. Clair. But yeah. the big difference is, is that you're having a V-Can instead of Casper in this game, who has to play the Chamber. And that is, I'm very interested to see on how he is up playing the Chamber, on if it, he's uh, practiced enough with it, and if he's going to be able to get the full utilization yeah. out of it. Um, but this is going to be your Saints map pick, but it is a UMass side pick. Yeah. So with that being said, I mean, uh, it could really determine anything. I believe that a St. Clair can just get through their bad side in half in like a 5-7-6-6 six, six fashion, yeah. they're going to be A-OK -okay on the defending side. Yeah. I know I've said this quite frequently here throughout the series, but I do truly believe it here in this map more than any of the other two. Yeah, the Bind, St. Clair, they don't entrust it. These Blossom Blast Packs will come out in full force and V-Can. If he can lurk half as good on the uh, chamber as the KJ, now he has the actual kit to lurk instead of before. Dolan immediately finds it with the headhunter, so chamber for UMass immediately finding extreme value. V-Can will find the headshot on Maxi. Couple members of St. Clair are also tagged down, whether from a grenade or gunshots, either way. Boonger is going to be playing in lamps. Strider will run up and get the spraying headshot, so St. Clair, now 3v3, they might have a chance to get the bomb down here, and then Dolan going to try to fuck out, or try to walk out of this brim smoke and find St. Clair. Yeah, that is going to be some nice shock dart sent through. Strider going to get in his post plan positioning, still a 3-on-3 three -three witness, getting ready to send some util, and his location is revealed very consistently. Shock dart in, I think that might have actually tagged hybrid down. Yes. So we're going to have two players fairly weak here. Strider going to have a lot of reliance here on this round, still a 3-on-3, three -three, but you ask, the full health is going to be the sticky problem for St. Clair. We'll see what they can do. V can gonna be getting these use of chamber TPs down. The bomb is gonna be getting hopped here now. Cutie going for the stick. Will there be a peek? And no, V can will find Dolan, but the bomb Ooh. diffuser is now gonna be killed as well. V can for a 4K in the pistol will win it for the Saints in a one nothing start off to this game. V can will be picking up right where he left off. Yeah, 22 HP. We thought it was gonna be pretty dire there in the mid, but able to hit the rendezvous and find four kills as they're diffusing, just stacking one on top of each other. Vcan, once again, whether it's Killjoy, Viper, or Chamber, this guy just lives at the top of the leaderboard these last couple matches for St. Clair. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, okay, or the but, Sage, but I guess we go four deep. <laughs> But it is a lot more expected to see a chamber top frag. Like, as you look at this yeah. one, you look at the first round. Out of eight kills, seven were from chambers. Yeah, you can so, tell who has the advantage on pistol. Yeah, yeah, you, you really, really can. I mean, hint, hint, riot. <laughs> um, but with that being said, it is going to be Ooh. Blossom. Oh, getting very aggressive. The flares and showers are going to be completely pushed out. Blossom, Wombat, Vcan, fighting them all. Uh, four kills very early in this round. Cutie left alone here on a retake with just a casual in hand. No really utility here as well. So, I mean, St. Clair is in perfect positioning. Everybody going to be around full HP. And Cutie position is going to be revealed here fairly soon. Yeah, barring disaster, this should definitely be a flawless Wombat. They know they're going to get the headshot. We'll find the tags and end up getting the kill and getting the flawless for St. Clair and Blossom. His The way he blast packs on the offensive end into showers to wrap around and find kills. I've seen him do it a bunch of times the last couple matches. Just the speed of it. You're just Most people would, aren't even ready to like walk out of showers at that point. And Blossom's already there spraying up two people on the flank. And just like that, able to create space. And St. Clair, really, really strong start to this offense. It'll be even stronger if they can shut down the UMass bonus round here yes. with all the five rifles. Compared to the Spectres and Bulldog of St. Clair, it's looking a lot stronger on the uh, defending sided end. And St. Clair, they've been really struggling winning against these bonus rounds as of lately. I don't yeah. blame them because it's a very thing, a very hard thing to do. However, 
If they can do it, I, I think that a 3 0 lead would be crazy big in this game. Yeah, at least try to steal two or three guns. Blossom is going to double blast pack. I'm able to get the second jump, though. Don't, no matter, we'll find the shot on Dolan anyway. So, two kills for St. Clair now. Three. Rifles. Wombat and Blossom finding multiple kills back and forth between these rounds. And St. Clair with a massive advantage on site. Cutie is going to be in heaven on the Viper. Trying to find something or anything. Going to try to maybe try to find a peak or some kind of frag. But UMass very, very split. And St. Clair going to send. Uh, was that Blossom around? That's or Wombat. Wombat. Yeah. Wombat going to be holding that flank just in case something tricky goes on for UMass. But St. Clair, they do have full control of A for the He doesn't being. know that Cutie's in heaven. Like, Cutie. Like, <laughs> if he had his back. Swings, yeah. Turn to him. Like, Wombat is not expecting Cutie oh. to be coming from this end. He thinks he cleared it all. But heaven has not been completely cleared. Cutie. What are you literally looking to do on this play? I mean, they're both just sitting in the side. That is going to be VK finding witness. But now look at this. Blossom running right into him. He's probably, Blossom's yelling at his teammate like, Man, how is Cutie here? How is he behind you? No, Wombat will get the kill. But I know for a fact I'd be like talking to my teammate like, Man, how is he there? Like, please explain to me how he is there. They literally went back to back and touched each other. And then they bumped and went, Oh, sh oh crap. And they realized that something was about to happen. So... Everyone, a lot of shots getting popped off there. Oh. St. Clair able to be on the winning end of it. Going to finally take a bonus round. So very, very bright start for St. Clair. And now going to have a pretty good buy coming through. Going to be Maxi. going to be on the judge. So those blast packs with that judge can definitely serve to be a disruptor. It's super big to win that bonus because now look at the situation UMass is in. St. Clair stacked up on economy. UMass is down a little bit more down there with the sheriffs, inspectors, and whatnot. And it's going to heavily favor St. Clair in this round here now. Sending a lot of utility over towards this site. That is going to be Maxi just barely making it out of that dog's play. Blossom blast back in, oh. but the judge oh, will is. do it. Vcan finds Boomer. Now they know Max is in there, and he does have a rifle here now. Vcan going to be on the Tour de Forest. That Brimsmoke is covering heaven for the time being with Vcan. Is going to set up. They do actually get the scan in heaven. So V can. Tour de Force War about to come through. Oh. Unable to find a kill through the smoke, but still two Tour de Forces online. Maxi running through lamps with the judge, trying to find a kill. Will find the kill on hybrid. Just such a tough weapon to swing on. You're almost guaranteed to lose every time. V can. Will shut down Cutie in there with the headshot. So finding some of the Tour de Force. Still a 3v3. UMass with their own Tour de Force Strider. Tagged up pretty heavy in mid. V can gets the bait for his third with the Tour de Force. Dolan will finally shut off V can. And now 2v1 for UMass. Diffuse being stuck. Wombat will. We'll get the free kill on Dolan. Diffuse not even at half yet. So Witness got to try to make it here. We'll get blinded wow. and Wombat finds another kill. So St. Clair clutching up and finding a way to get it done. Sky is so good. Yeah, so, so, so good. The flashes are going to help out so nice on that gunfight. Knowing that he has to be in a situation where yeah. he has to like at least fake. Then you know that as soon as you send a bird in, like, he's pretty much done for. Yeah, like, you can't really do a whole lot against that situation. So now we do see the side of UMass. They will be able to get another rifle, rifle buy here for themselves. But it hasn't been an easy game. You have uh, Boomer, who's currently 0-4. 1-4 uh, on Cutie and Witness. And then Maxi trying to do whatever he can. Only two kills from the Judge. And then Dolan is really just breaking out the Tour de Force, finding lots of kills on pistols. He's only had one in the last three rounds. Yeah. So St. Clair, it's not even like they're just barely winning these rounds. They're winning them fairly dominantly yeah. as well. They're winning convincingly. And this was the, the side pick for you, Master. So honestly, Blossom is going to blast back through Hookah and find one. Witness once again on the Hunter's Jury, finding incredible value. It is going to be 4v4. The Seekers did tag out a few wow. Trailblazer. Will tag out Dolan. So St. Clair getting a pretty good amount of information. Random Brim Smoke spray will go in favor of Cutie. So Wombat will fall to that. Bomb hasn't been planted yet for St. Clair. They're going to try to find it. Darts will get a couple tags out. Witness going to be playing in this back elbow area. Strider in Hookah trying to find something. St. Clair got, they had a decent little push on here. Found a fight, but now getting stalled out pretty hard. Blossom is going to find it through the smoke though. Showstopper gets popped. Find the second, oh. able to kill Dolan for his oh. third. And oh. can trades out the lasso. St. Clair doing a lot of dramatics there and getting it done to push it to five, nothing on the attack. I love how with like the rocket launcher, if you jump and you shoot down towards yourself, it lifts you up as well. It actually put him on top yeah. of that crate and it let him find that last kill with himself. So working out very, very well. It's not often you see the Saints with a 5 nothing lead, but it's also not often that you see Vcan positive 10 yes. kills just five rounds into a game. He's averaging just over two kills around here right now. Looking very good while doing so. And St. Clair is just up to a great start. You're going to see the judge pull through once again with like another couple spectators a couple sheriffs and a classic or whatnot, but St. Clair gonna have the upper hand on the buy. If they can just not allow UMass to come through the thrifty, a 6 nothing lead will guarantee themselves a tied half going into their favored side. Yeah, and I love that showstopper jump. It reminds me of the old rocket jumps in Halo. Strider is gonna pop the stimmy so back oh. to, is gonna find judge kills immediately. Dolan 
will find a head on Jordan Vcan, so a little chamber on chamber action. Strider finds a kill. Showstopper comes out of left field, but Blossom and Hybrid did find two kills, so only a 3v3 for the time being. UMass is going to be down. Shock Dart perfectly placed on Dolan's feet will knock him out. Now just on Boonger will get picked up by Blossom. They know where he is trapped in this corner. Hybrid is going to send the Dart through. Unable to get the Shock Dart angle. He will get killed by Boonger. Boonger trying to get a couple more tags. The Molly will come online. Perfect Molly in the corner to get on Blossom wow. and take him out. That was an excellent Molly to bait Blossom out of that corner. You know what the killer is? He could have just sat on the bench. Yep. He could have just sat on the oh, bench Oh, yep. The, the, the Molly was just on the ground. Yep. He had that little bench up there. He wouldn't have even actually gotten hit by the Molly, which yep. is the big difference maker there on that one. He didn't have to make that, you know, big diving jump. There will be this out of UMass fighting their first round. A very good one there. They played that one very, very nicely. And it's now going to be St. Clair, still up by four, but losing their first round. I think something that is still very nice in that round, though, is Hybrid had a beautiful shock dart there yeah. to grab that bomb. Yeah, exactly. That's perfect. Now, Vcan going to be whipping out the Operator, so a little bit spicy. Vcan, he's been playing extremely well these last couple games. I don't think we've seen him take out the Op yet, so you really curious to see where they play and maybe try to play some long flank or play some mid area, but... Gonna put some Viper Utility on the top of Showers there. That. Yeah, Dolan gonna try to walk up here and find something in Showers immediately. Vcan is gonna be waiting for him with this Operator. And he will wow. with the shot. He will get tagged. Vcan, it looked like it was lined up, but just not enough and able to find the kill. UMass does have the Viper Pit and the Orbital Strike. If they decide to keep it in their back pocket, it is still 5v5. Saints, it's sitting in Hookah trying to find some info, but nothing definitive as of yet. Ooh, if yeah, Vegan will find Ooh. one on the op this time around, but I will say, it, I don't know if it's just me, but like it's not even just Vegan. Vegan witness anybody who pulls up the op. I've really been finding that these shots that look like they're lined up yeah. are actually not landing more than often here today than usual. Maybe where you were just used to seeing Casper on the op. Yeah. And he's just <laughs> unreal with that tour de force and the operator and whatnot. Uh, but a five on four will benefit the side of St. Clair. It does look like they are going to be focusing everything now over towards the A site, and there's only two. Two players over here. That's gonna be a Viper and a Raze. Uh, the rotations will be coming in nice and quick there from Ooh. the Brimstone and the Sova. That Paint Shells is gonna really slow things down for the side of St. Clair. Cutie gonna find Blossom. That's gonna be a nice little dart, but it's not gonna get any sort of scan. Awesome shots through the smoke. Not gonna work out well. And that's gonna be the Brimmy Alt. Will find Hybrid. Bomb down. That's actually gonna be Maxi gaining a little bit of damage from it and tagged down here now. But this is a two on four for St. Clair. I'm not certain, but I think that Blast Pack actually knocked Hybrid back into the. Or I think he was gonna jump out of the Orbital Strike and the Blast Pack knocked him back into it for the kill. So UMass finding excellent ways to mix up this utility. And like I'm almost certain Hybrid was going to jump out of that orbital strike and the blast pack hit him in the face and sent him back into it to finish the kill. So UMass finding new and unique ways to get it done and keeping the buy of St. Clair down as long as they can to get battle back in this game. This is the last buy from St. Clair if they do not win this round. And it's not even an ideal buy because really Strider can't really get a full buy yeah. here on this round. Hybrid can't get full armor. And I bet you there's a couple players missing a little bit of pieces of utility yeah. as well. Um, but Dolan, once again, going to be pulling out the op here. He's been picking things up for the side of UMass as well as Cutie, uh, both making very, very big plays. And now only three rounds separate these two teams. Yeah, St. Clair, they had a pretty good run to start. 5 nothing. Now UMass, they are battling back, and we figured they'd pick up a couple rounds. So St. Clair, now time to buckle down. They are going to bring me to me through Hookah, so buckle down. They will not. They will try to flash in. Blossom is going to blast back in. Wombat finds the early headshot. Blossom will get shot down on the blast pack. Wombat finding oh, a second. Timing. Will get traded. Horrible timing. Boonger and Strider go one for one as well, so now 3v2. 2v2. Dolan with the Operator. Well, fine. Two back-to-back -back on Strider and Hybrid, and once again, getting the random spray to Hookah Vcan. Gonna try not to walk up here and contest two people with an operator in one of their hands. There's the first. Vcan now just knowing that Dolan is on the operator, but that will be a weapon picked up. I think Vcan does get the sound cue on that as well. The yep. weapon has been picked up. I don't think Dolan's really fully expecting it. And there it is. Vcan will keep it up. An operator will be acquired. And your Saints will meet now on the sixth round when 14 kills, doubling the top frag of the side of UMass. Looking very, very good. Maxi, you know, I... I can't say much because I'm a judge user myself, <laughs> but it is hard to play against, man. Oh, it's it's so, especially you play lamp. Any like, there's so many short corners on Vine where you can just rat it out with the judge, especially when you have those oh, blast packs. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Going to go into the rifle. Unfortunate for not from unfortunate for UMass. Going to try to get those rifles in. Strider is going to be stuck on a little bit of a half sink there with a mixed buy. Getting that operator, I think, was huge though. That saves a lot of economy and V can. If you can get one or two of those shots to land through, the Tour de Force did get popped in retaliation. And now the Viper Pit. Orbital Strike comes through as well for Sankler, so a lot of ultimates coming through for both teams. Utility coming through. Blast Pack's going in. The Stimmy gets dropped. Paint Shells are going to go through. No kills yet, but both sites fighting for site control.
Yeah, we'll see the Viper get tagged down a little bit there for the side of UMass. That bomb plane will come through, but the Viper pit is still active. Now, that is very concerning. Now, Blossom will go down to Max. e are going to fall for the side of UMass. They got to kill this Viper. Yes. That is the big thing here right now because uh, the bomb... Yes, it is actually on the outside of the Viper smoke, but I think you might be able to just hop it or something. I'm not sure, but... Regardless of that being said, it is going to be a nice swing. They need to find Dolan here. Dolan tagged out half, but Dolan finds Wombat 3v3. The bomb is not being stuck here as of right now. And it's going to be a lot of damage dealt. So much is happening. This is mayhem over here towards these Viper Walls. Side, Strider, Hybrid, good for a few. Beacon will clean it up. A Team Ace for St. Clair. And that was just a mess over on that site. Yeah, that's that's the... Border, that's the definition of colorful chaos. Double brim smokes on both sides. Stimmies, blast packs, uh, solar utility coming through. We saw the rays, the viper pit. We saw so much coming through. St. Clair, able to navigate, stay patient. They didn't all go crazy, run into the pit, and end up getting dropped. They just stayed back, played lamps control, tried to get a couple picks, able to finally get the kills. And now with a 7-2 to two lead in a very strong position, they solved the operator on VCAN. They should be able to get a couple rifles through, maybe two. Yeah, okay, they should be able to buy for each other, actually. Yeah, going to get full rifles. Very, very mixed buy. Once again, Maxi on the judge. So St. Clair, you're in a very prime position to start to run away with this game. Also saying here right now, I mean, Beacon's on a 5-0 KD. That's, uh, oh. that's pretty nuts. He's getting five kills per death right now for average. Box. And no, that is going to be Maxi on the Judge. Well, take down Wombat, but a very nice little play. I mean, he's utilizing the Judge very, very yeah. well in this series so far. Um, especially here just on this map in general. Strider, oh, sends in the Stimmy for me. And they are going to make their way in. Cutie going to get mollied off a little bit from pushing onto this Bomb Planter. And now, St. Clair once again will be setting up for post plants in a 4-on-5. Vcan trying to find an op kill. This smoke, if it does clear, will benefit him greatly here. Oh, that is going to be... Oh, the Fury Strike is going to come through. Witness will find Strider. The op shot from Vcan will find it through the smoke onto Dolan. Maxi taking down Hybrid with the Spectre. They got to try to force up the op in showers. That's exactly what they're doing. Blossom still up here and nice and close. They got to find this bomb later. No, it's going to be the Blast Packs utilized to their full advantage. Once again, Vcan will fall. 7-3 scoreline. And the Blast Packs from UMass. Like... Maxi's not even blast packing himself in a good position, so he's just blast packing the other team. And that is very interesting, because usually you don't see the players really think about blast packing other teams as much to utilize their play. Yeah, just because the um, damage is low, but the, the effectiveness clearly yeah. is there. Like, that's it's underutilized, because I don't see many players use, use it that way either. So credit to Maxi for finding new ways. And St. Clair, they end up getting thriftied, losing all of their guns. The operator does switch hands back to UMass. So just as you thought, you might have been able to run away with this attacking side. Now UMass is going to be back with a very, very strong buy. And that operator is just changing hands back and forth these last couple rounds. 100%. Wombat is going to come through. He's going to be dogging this A site out here now. Trying to find this player in U Hall. Going to spot out the Viper and gets a little bit of intel over there for the team. Now it is going to be all the other players pushing down long though. Oh, look at this. You're going to have a lot of intel over here onto Witness. Oh, and they actually just want Maxi here as well. Maxi's still good for one. A trade for Strider. He's looking for another, but no. Witness finding it through the smoke. Hybrid maybe trying to find the shots off here now as well. Not able to land anything. VCAN looking for the one, but no. Boomer up and above, actually. We'll find that kill. Hybrid left alone. One before. They know exactly where he is. They'll build, clean him up through the smoke. <laughs> 7-4 to four as we do get ready for our last round of the first half. And this is crazy difference because, last right, if you are St. Clair, 7-5 half is still good going into the defensive side. And 8-4 to four half is a dominant half going into the yes. defensive side. And look at these ultimates. While UMass does have the Orbital and the Showstopper, St. Clair, no slugs of their own. Hunter's Fury, Tour de Force, and the Showstopper. The buy not going to be as great, but with those three ultimates, that's a lot of damage that you can get. So if they're able to find the right spot, get information first, and then slack on the ultimates to add on to it, Tour de Force will get popped right away. Then they can find a way back into this round, but... It's not going to be easy because this UMass buy is a brick wall. If Maxi finds one play. with the Let's rocket launcher, play. so does Blossom. If Blossom <laughs> finds one with the rocket launcher, so does Maxi. Like, I mean, like, the rocket launcher is, has so much value here in this round, in my opinion. There it is. He's going to get into U-Haul. All the players are running away from his rocket fuse. I don't know if he's going to be able to find anything. There's another blast back into heaven. He finds it onto Dolan. That's a big player to take down with it. And that is now going to be the Brim alt getting used. I don't think it's really going to find a whole lot. Actually, will take down Strider. Blood Hybrid, good for one of his own. And now a four on three plant coming in for Blossom. There's some more kills going around. Three on two, three on one. VK, good for one with the Tour de Force. Boonger left alone. One V3. 
Yeah, Sankler has total advantage. Spike is planted. Blossom will get tagged up. So Boonger finds just third of the round with the headshot. V can Torto Force in mid. Will with the first shot. Now Boonger into U-Haul. So the Saints know where he is, but they still have to play smarter because V can low HP and the bomb slows a little bit of time left. So Boonger gonna shoot at the rendezvous. Try to find something. He is gonna drop smokes now. Try to blur V can's vision. He can't stuck in that brim smoke. They're, they're gonna bump shoulders. He can hopefully will be able to find the shot. Wow. And he will find the shot. Short range in the smoke and St. Clair able to grind it out, close it out, and now 8-4 going into the second half. I am just shooting some uh, his ultimate shots over there at his teammate V can for winning that round. So 8-4 to four here now. UMass will be down, but uh, if St. Clair wins this pistol, I'll be game changing, to be yeah, completely honest. I think so as well. Same with UMass, though. To be completely honest, UMass needs this one more yeah. than ever, to be completely honest, to put themselves right back into things. So St. Clair, now let's see what they can do on the defending side. And it makes it really scary for UMass, knowing that you have your favorite side first. St. Clair heading over to defense, where they're going to be a little bit more comfortable on their map pick with a four-round advantage. They are in the driver's seat of this game. Yeah, going 8-4 on your side pick for the other direction. Not where you want it to be, but UMass has picked up three or four thrifty, so I put nothing past them between the pistol and the bonus round at this point. I think they're pretty capable of anything. Hybrid going to line up this recon dart through the middle area. I assume they're probably going to walk through Hookah and then possibly be long. Going to have a couple members stacked up there. Recon dart is destroyed. Boombot's going out. Oh, Remy Stimmy getting popped. So typical pistol round shenanigans. Vcan says, nope, gets out of there. The other rendezvous will get destroyed. Cutie is going to put up the Viper wall. So going to be a pretty heavy stack on here by UMass and Sacred. We'll have to get some rotations because they're going to need it. Vcan's going to be in a pretty decent spot. If he does go through oh. the smoke, Whoa. he will find the Viper. But no, Cutie going to find it. Witness get thrown on Strider. It's now all up left to the raise in the sky of Sacred to retake this one. You do have a lot of damage dealt, but that is not any kill. Wombat will find the first, will find a second. Now we're in a three on three, or th sorry, a three on two. And that's one for Blossom. 2v2. Look at the health, health advantage in your favor, but Wombat not gonna expect this player here. The frenzy will be too strong. Blossom is screwed behind a Viper wall here now, and he's not in a great position. The ghost is gonna be nice to have. Both players are one tap with it. The time is gonna be a factor, and Cutie is in a great post plant scenario. There's the first. He's gonna fake it out. The oh. paint shells are through. That might be enough. Excellent idea. Gets the half for free. Now he's gonna wait for the speak, and there's the kill. He played that perfectly. That is 200 IQ. Plenty of time for the defuse. Will clutch up the round. That was a two on five, I think it was. Yeah, St. Clair and the HP. They knew they had low HP on UMass, so they just had to land a couple shots and Blossom. Able to find an excellent pick there. I would not have thought to use those paint shells to stall area no. and stall time, but Blossom... Really, really high IQ play, able to use the paint shells by the time. Knew the HP was low too, so even if one of those paint shells ticked, he was probably going to get the kill. So, very, very smart play. And look at VCAN, 18 and 6 to start this off. Oh. Yeah, he's going to improve that 5KD to a 6. I yeah. don't know what's going on with that guy, man. I, <laughs> he's just on a different level right now, on a different planet. But I will really point out that I feel like that clutch should have been like a clutch times 2. Because now that was on the pistol round. Yes. So, it will put UMass into a, like, not the greatest of spots here. Wombat has some good intel early on over towards A. <laughs> well, look at how evenly spread out this UMass push is across the map. St. Clair will not be having to rotate from any spot. Ooh. Witness good for one, but Wombat will be good for the trade, not allowing the opposing side to get any sort of specters for free. Wombat doing some good job there. VKN going to find another as well, just improving that stat line of his. Yep. And it's going to be a 4v2. UMass looking to go up to long and to be the bulldog of hybrid is going to be too strong. And the shock are going to come through for the follow-up into tree area. Cutie is going to try to get the walk. He's stuck in market here. Hybrid knows he's in there. Going to try to swing. A lot of Saints are going to rotate. Cutie shuts down. VCAN on the flank with a one-tap. Is going to pick up a Spectre as well. Is going to cross TP as well. So is going to be met by Strider through showers though. St. Clair was ready for it. That teleporter, it do be really, really loud. St. Clair heard it. They were ready <laughs> for it. And they go up 10 to 4. Yeah, Strider coming through. Those are the coach plays there, you know. Yeah. The, the, the cutting off the TP, the uh, getting the 200 I'll show you how there. to do it, boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, boys, put me in. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you how to get it done. <laughs> but here we go. Okay, so get some buys. Now, it is going to be the side of UMass on their bonus, and Maxi, you have the money, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. It's, it's troll gonna, at this he's point. He's going to pull through the judge. Uh, Sheriff's, Spectres, Bulldog, for St. Clair. They lead by six. Three rounds to close out this game. And all Whoa. the pressure on A, the aggression. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Blossom, good for two. Wombat, good for one. And now Wombat is going to find another. The aggression was not expected. St. Clair is pulling tricks out of their hat. Witness is on the site, but in a 1v3 with no spike. They said, oh, Max, do you want to buy the judge and try to be aggressive? All right, we'll show you aggressive. As a bonus, defensively aggressive as you can get. VCAN will find the fifth in St. Clair. 
absolutely blitzes UMass down center, jumps all over their heads and ends up taking that round pretty cleanly. And UMass definitely was not ready for that. Neither were we. Yeah, so looking Jeez. very, very good here. Now, if you are from the side Judge. of St. Clair, oh. <laughs> 21 kills on the board for Vika. And I, I feel like I can't emphasize it enough. I mean, even last game, we were calling out most improved player. And I, th this is just backs up. This is evidence to my statement yeah. in that last game uh, that he can do it so nicely here and so proficient. Uh, but here we go. The buys for UMass are looking to come through. But it's very interesting because you have your top three buying out to rifles. But then the bottom two on a sheriff in the classic. That's... Pretty interesting to see. Yeah, Stimmy is going to be mid one, but I got to send the Trailblazer. Pain shells will tag him out, though. Double actually will oh. get tagged up to 36, so. And the Snake Bite, so a lot of utility going mid and tagging him low. Boonger will find the kill on v -Can. Showstopper gets popped. Wombat finds Maxi. Hunter Shuri gets popped. Kills go through. 3v3. Hunter Shuri still trying to find tags. Unable to find anything. Dolan and Cutie both finding kills, so. A lot of a lot of disaster there in St. Clair. Now down to a 3v2. Seekers in the back pocket if they decide, but I assume they'll probably just hold on for the time being. That's a nice cheeky Ooh. angle, finds the first, now a two on two, he finds another Wombat with some beautiful Baited. timing onto Dolan, Witness left alone, finds the first, but now all the intel has been given over to Hybrid, Hybrid now gonna have to rotate over to B, this is gonna be a successful plant for Witness, but I think by the time the plant is finished, Hybrid should be right around that door, yeah. and uh, we should be able to see a good gunfight come down. He's going to wait for this scan to come through. He's going to send one through for himself. And look at all these scanning. It's, so, it's a bow and arrow duel. There'd be no guns drawn. Oh. Witness is so big. I mean, a hybrid. I, I don't know if I'm, I would be reading this play, to be completely honest with you guys. It's a tough read. There's, there's four or five different angles, and you just can't know. Witness, trigger, discipline. Did get the info. Hybrid's going to back into him, and he will. Witness finds the kill, and B site on, on bind is so hard because there's literally four different spots mm -hmm. that if you slow walk, you can just rotate everywhere. It's pretty much a guessing game at that point. Hybrid, unable to guess correctly. UMass still hanging in there. Got a couple ultimates online. Now the buy is slowly picking up a little bit compared to where it was. St. Clair won't have a terrible buy. They will have a couple of rifles, so not the greatest thing in the world, but actually, you're going to have four rifles come through. Possibly Strider going to maybe stick on the Vandal there, so pretty good buy for St. Clair. Pretty strong buy for UMass, and have to see who's able to clutch it out here and take the next round. Damn, I was really hoping that Blossom was going to buy a Judge. Not oh, yeah. <laughs> Give him a taste of their own medicine or something like that. Max, he's been playing very well. 11 and 14 here right now. Um, as the side of UMass is looking to get another round for themselves. It's six rounds lead still here for St. Clair. This B presence is looking to come in. V, Can, and Hybrid are going to be your first lines of defense. Let's see what they can do. Yeah, a lot of paint shells, drones coming through. Ultimate Orb will be grabbed, so V, Can. Going to know they're probably backside guard near the TP. Hybrid is going to owl drone out Hookah. He knows one's there. Now he sees two, so at least he's got all the info that he needs. Hookah is technically cleared out there. They know there's two. They know there's a couple in long as well. There's going to be a couple trying to flank swing backside, but UMass is going to push up through Hookah. They're going to send a bunch. Dylan is going to be trying to get a pick here. He can't find two on the long and rendezvous out of there. So now a 5v3. Wow. Now a 5v1. Hybrid finds two of his own. So St. Clair all of a sudden dropped four members of UMass in. Man, Valorant is crazy. You just go from 5v5 to 5v1 in literally three seconds. I love Vegan. You just spray fire the uh, behind you there in the TP, making sure they don't spot you oh. out. Strider will fall. Vegan, though, he's been fragging out so far this game. Yep. Can he find some more for himself? Not expecting Witness to be walking towards him. Yep. It's now going to give the kill over to UMass. A still a 1v3, and it will be hybrid for the 3k to clean that one up here. St. Clair Saints are going to advance themselves now onto a match point after a very dominant match round point. there. UMass is going to have to win seven and a row here to force an OT and then once they get to OT they're still gonna have to win by two so it's very very difficult for them for me to uh, uh, kind of foresee them to come yeah. back in this game um however they do have Boomer playing some pretty good uh Valorant as of lately he's gonna be seeing a 13-13 but the thing is is it's just so hard to shut down VCAN Wombat Blossom right now they're having a Beautiful game for themselves. And Strider's got 19 assists. He is just setting them up with lobs all day, every day. Those stimmies, the smokes, and the mollies have been crucial for St. Clair's success as well. Vikan on the Tour de Force does actually spot one out. We'll find the kill. Boonger peeking one too many times, and Vikan will punish. Witness will grab the ult orb and shower, so they do know he's in there. Trailblazer will go through. Shock threat will get the tag on Wombat, but he does not carry. We'll try to get the swing. Pulls out the flash. Hunter's Jury comes through. Takes out Duel with the, with the Spectre, or that Vandal rather. Hunter's Jury does come through. Doesn't get anything. Witness gonna try to find something now. Shocked our through showers. He's getting pushed back. St. Clair gonna stimmy and try to shove UMass back to the backside of showers. Witness will actually wow. find two kills. So St. Clair, the aggression getting it, maybe getting into them a little bit and throwing a couple guns away there. 
Yeah, and it's actually gonna completely opens up the A site. Everybody is gonna be rotating over here, but they're all gonna be on the back line. So we do get sent a Viper Ooh. Pit. That's gonna be enough for a plant as well, just Ooh. on that bottom corner of the site. Some shots through the pit will not land, and oh, they're just right beside. If Vikan might be able to try to find a tour to four shots through the pit, but it's just a gamble that you don't really want to take. Ooh. These shots are coming you through. They're doing a good amount of damage actually not even really landing as much but there it is blossom getting some down to four hp just not able to clean up vegan oh. with the door to force through the smoke witness gonna trade it out hybrid he's creeping his way through the viper's gonna be just in the corner they, they got it no cuties playing one of these corners back here now once hybrid cleared up this area yeah, good what health do? for St. Clair. Low, low health for the, for the Sova of UMass Hybrid. It's going to try to walk up. You have to walk up and try to find a pick here at some point. They are going to walk through, try to find a kill on showers. Witness finds just fourth of the round. Blossom going to walk through, finds a kill on the Viper, takes out Cutie. Pick goes down, the decay still on. Bomb timer is running down. Only a few seconds left. Blossom will have to peek. Will UMass be able to pick up the ace and save this game? Blossom still going to be holding the angle on showers. Witness 34 HP. Blossom will fake the defuse. Swings gets the kill. But does he have time no. to finish? He does not. He will have to run away and attempt to save the weapon through the teleport and UMass hanging on by a thread. That's a gamble, though. They literally just gambled their whole series yep. on a fake or not. Uh, but guess that what? Risky. I mean, that, that, that was definitely risky there for that one. Uh, Vegan and Wombat going to have 45 between the two of them here right now. they got to end this one out soon. They still have the six-round advantage, so I'm not, I don't think they're going to be crazy concerned, but I do completely agree with what you were saying in showers. I think the aggression starting to get to them a little bit more here as of lately. Just wanting to close out this game, thinking they're like, you know, they're, they're the dominant team right now. They're up 12-6. They're on their favorite side. They have some good money. They have full weapons, um, but you just got to slow things down. Play it like any other game here right now. Uh, you do see Dolan. He's going to be pulling out the play. Tour de Force Let's here play. in this round, and Boomer, is he going to alt right away? No, I think he's going to drop smoke. those smokes. Okay. Yeah, the thing, it looks exactly like the same animation, so I get confused a lot too. Blast packs will come through, and Showstopper for UMass. Blossom oh. immediately shuts it down. We'll get the trade, but decent trade if you're saying they're getting that Showstopper offline. Absolutely massive. Wombat will flash through and swing, but Cutie will we'll just destroy him for it. Gets a headshot easily. Hunter's Fury will come through, unable to find any, maybe find a tag. We'll actually find a tag right at the end there as well. So Hybrid getting pretty good info out of it, getting a little bit of damage tag through, but that Torta 4 is still online and the Orbital Strike in the back pocket of UMass. Ooh, oh, okay. Cutie! Oh, so oh just not in that corner. Very good. Nice little lineup tracking yeah. there. Shout out to Dan Banner. Cinematic for, shot. Look at, yeah. look at those <laughs> cinematic shots there on the back line. Okay, so here we are. Three on four. Your Saints are still full HP. You do have the brim of UMass still alive, but very, very weak. And he has to play the spike. So, I mean, it could be a little bit of a problem. Oh, there's going to be Cutie getting spotted. The chamber swinging out. Dolan on the door to force is good for two. Begin in a 1v4 on the flank. Witness to shut it down. St. Clair not able to close out this game as of yet. And UMass keeping four players alive. Chamber did not have to buy last round because of the Tour de Force. So that money now slowly starting to go in favor of UMass. And if you're St. Clair, you're not hitting the red panic button yet. But if UMass takes two to three more rounds, man, you're starting to sweat a little bit because you, you're seeing it right before your eyes. It was like 12-4. You're like, okay, we got this. Now it's 12-7. All of a sudden, the economy starts to turn. The ultimate's none for St. Clair now. UMass with the orbital strike. So if UMass can get this bomb down, they can play a very, very strong post point and possibly steal another round. I'm not concerned. Hybrid judge. has a stinger. Max on the judge. Shocker. <laughs> Hybrid's got the uh, Hybrid's got the stinger there, so no Ooh. concerns for me. That's going to be a hybrid ace I'm expecting here. But oh. Dolan, good for two! And that is going to be witness good for one as well. Strider, Blossom getting some trade outs. It's not the end of the world. Now in a two on three. They don't really have rifles from it. They do have a Spectre right now on Strider. Do have one, but still nice. stuck in this corner. He's going to have to peek his way out. Boomer, though, here. This Molly going to slow down the play, but the raise blastbacks going to find it. Maxi going to do it for UMass. Now 12-8 to 8 here. St. Clair still on match point, but UMass having a game for themselves, starting to make a little bit of a comeback. This was a seven-round advantage for St. Clair. Now dropped to just four. Yeah, and if you're St. Clair, maybe you don't telegraph that, that Brimmy Stimmy showers push anymore because Dolan was very ready for the TP to come across. Because St. Clair, they sent one through the teleporter, I think, and then sent two through showers to try to get that cross angle. But Dolan, very, very aware, shuts down two in the TP, and immediately <laughs> the raise for the side of UMass. Blast packs right back into the face of St. Clair. Spins around, finds a kill, and now full buy for both teams. Half armor on one of the members of St. Clair, but a lot of good ultimates for a post plant for UMass still. Very interesting, because here's the thing. Like, you, we saw last game the Saints fully buy out Vandals now they're fully buying out Phantoms it's, it's very interesting <laughs> to see um so here we are 12 to 8 St. Clair still off to a lead Wombat will dog out now looking for Dolan here on the chamber but Wombat knowing that getting too aggressive might not be the uh, yeah. answer here for them 
I'm just sure he is going to come online. Fine, wow. Deacon. Back to back tags. Luckily, he won't find a third, but if you're UMass, exactly the start you're looking for. Now, Hybrid getting pushed out on B. Pretty hard here on A, rather. Actually, B, yeah. Lost one to find in the kill off site. Is 4v4. A lot of members of UMass getting towards A. Yeah, St. Clair got a lot of stacked up on B, but it will be an A push. The bomb will almost certainly get planted, and they have that orbital strike now for the post plant. This will be a tough really. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. Your Saints are all trying to find their frags here now. They don't really have a whole lot of alts. You're not going to use the uh, show software here on this round if you are from the side of Blossom. Please don't. Please don't. Oh. I don't I don't agree with it. I don't. I really don't. It doesn't even find a kill there on that one. And it's now going to be St. Clair down an alt. They could have been using that for insurance in the next upcoming rounds. Cutie going to line up a few. Witness finds one. Blossom, yeah, he is good for a trade. But now to 1v3. And that is going to be Boonger shutting it down. So... To be completely honest, I'd like to see that showstopper get saved here, but now St. Clair down to no alt, and I'm not sure if they're really close to that many. UMass does have a huge brim alt, which could take Saints yeah. off the bomb plant if it does come down to it, and uh, it's just not going to be the situation you're looking for if you're St. Clair. Yeah, St. Clair, you blinked, and all of a sudden it's 12-9, and the money is not looking too great. No alts, not even really that yeah, close. Yeah, no alts, yeah, not e yeah, exactly. Only Wombat maybe get the Seekers if he's able to have a good round, but... And luckily for UMass, not a lot of ultimates close as well, but the hunt, the orbital strike being online is absolutely huge, and they have a lot of momentum. And look at the buy of Sinclair. The judge is there, though. I, yes. I will say <laughs> that <laughs> one that going to get tagged out there. The location revealed. Oh. Now Maxi very aggressive in oh. with his judge as well. Going to run into Wombat's Sheriff, and that's a great start to this one. But oh. Boomer will be able to trade this one through. Witness is going to find Strider as well. Blossom trying to find a frag for himself just inside the smoke. This one clears. He could get some big plays off. Oh. He's now going to be wrapping around trying to shoot out any sort of utility that could slow things down. There it is. Ooh. That's a big one onto the chamber. We're in a three on three, and this is definitely still very, very winnable. Vcan looking for the one at U Haul. Fires off the shot. So close to finding the head. Witness and Cutie both finding these kills. A lineup for Blossom will not pay off. UMass will approach double digits here now. 12 to 10. St. Clair had a seven round advantage. Knocked down to just two. They need to close this one out as of here soon. They do have a buy in this round. They do have Wombat on the Sky ult, but we're going to see a timeout from Wombat, and I do not blame them. I am very, very happy that we are actually seeing a timeout here because they are needing it. I almost didn't think that in any CC, for some reason, the teams didn't have timeouts because UMass didn't call one when they were getting throttled on either map in like the first half, and St. Clair, I think they waited a little bit long to use that one because you let that get away from you in a hurry, and UMass has all the momentum right now. St. Clair just playing off the back foot. UMass is countering with their own aggression right now, and St. Clair, they're kind of getting counterpunched pretty good, so they have to try to answer back because like you said they were up six or seven rounds at this point and we are all of a sudden right back to double digits and i'm not a betting man but i smell overtime in the air yeah we will see so the time would still active here now about 20 seconds or so remaining on the clock and uh i mean Oof. it's all coming down to this year it, it really does i mean it's a, gonna be a 12 to 10 game at least okay the big benefit for this for the saints is they're, they're on match points the so worst case they see in overtime yeah um rather than just losing out the game um and if you're from the side you might have to win four in a row to end it out yeah. in like uh, the next four rounds or so so St. Clair, they do still have themselves in not the worst of positionings, but you just have to try to shut things down here fairly soon. I think the biggest thing would have just been to save all the ults, get the insurance policy, yes. and then just end it off there. But hey, it's too late for that here now a little bit, and we are going to be seeing round number 23 out of 24 rounds in regulation. Yeah, thankfully they finally called the timeout, try to sell everybody down, try to find these easy kills and steal one of these rounds because the lead they blew, if they, it's like blowing a 3-1 lead and going to overtime is like going to that game seven. You had the 3-1 lead and all of a sudden, even playing field, everybody's back in it. So both teams are going to, I think that we're going to see a little more patience out of this round. UMass, they stole a lot of rounds back and now they don't want to get caught with their hand in the jar too often. They don't want to get caught overextending because they know they fought back in. They could throw it away just as easily. They still have the orbital strike. It looks like they're cheating over towards B, so... They haven't tried to go over there and planted a couple rounds. They are going to go B long, actually. Going to send a couple. Just going to send one through Hookah, try to clear. Actually going to have two there with Maxi as well. St. Clair, pretty much you could hear a pin drop in this lobby so far. 100%. Maxi still looking to throw these pain shells, but no, it's actually going to be a big smoke there. The shut down Hookah. And there it is, the Hellfire on B site. Not going to get a whole lot of use. Strider's still alive, but all these smokes off here is going to give the full site control in favor of UMass. I mean, St. Clair's not able to stop this one as of right now. Blossom firing his way through. Maxi, good for two. We'll find Hybrid with the paint shells and could find even more there with that one. Wombat takes out Maxi. Beacon, good for one. Looking for another, but no. Cutie going to take him down. It's all up to Wombat. 
Wombat and Strider. Wombat left alone in a one on three. He's looking to do whatever he can, but with these two players in Garden, it is not going to be the easiest of tasks. Boonger going to find it. UMass up to 11. One round away from putting this one into overtime. Yeah, and they have the only ultimate on the board being the Viper Pit, so they are at a massive advantage going into this last round before overtime. And St. Clair, hopefully you can put together some kind of buy, but boy, it does not look like it. And we got a couple other members of UMass very close. They got the Hunter's Fury and the Showstopper yeah. knocking on the door. So if you're St. Clair, they're, they got, they're close to getting a couple ultimates as well, but the Tour de Force won't really help you mid-round as much. The Orbital Strike could, but the buy isn't as good either, so UMass definitely going to have the advantage. St. Clair, got to find it, or man, we're going to OT. OT map 3. It does not get closer than that, <laughs> but uh, we still have one more round to be played out to determine if we will be seeing an overtime play come through. It's very, very split here for UMass. I think they're just going to be playing for a pick and then trying to go to whatever site they get that kill at. Spike is going to be over spike. towards A. And at 20 still in the clock, so lots of time, of course, to use here. And the location revealed actually for the side of UMass. Yeah, Sinclair actually going to get some info. So they knew that they might have, last time they did put the bomb between A and B. Boonger will find the kill mid on Wombat. So massive start for UMass. Hunter's Jury now online. Viper Pit online. They do have the numbers advantage. So St. Clair going to kind of have to play off the back foot here. You don't want to lose any more picks now. Hyper going to try to peek Hugo. Hunter's Jury will come online. He will get a tag. Will unable to find the second tag. The, the showstopper will go in the back of Strider and take him out though. They will dart out Maxi, but St. Clair, massive disadvantage. 5v2. Viper Pit comes out and this is going to be pretty much overtime written all over it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. I mean, we are, uh, it's gonna be a very difficult bot weekend. We'll open us up with one or the force is brought out because it is gonna be in a situation where you kinda have to at this point in time. It's gonna be the last round of the half. That's gonna be Vika thinking he has Maxi on the raise, but no. Jobin, we are headed to overtime. Saints were leading this game 12 5. UMass are gonna bring it back for seven in a row. That is something, huh? UMass never gave up, they never said die, and St. Clair all of a sudden. You let a couple rounds go, maybe mistimed an ultimate, and here you are. Now you're in an absolute dogfight on map three on bind, and now each team going to get even money to split the buy. It's going to be a full buy for both teams with probably some half utility or whatever they can muster, but ultimates pretty, I say they're going to be even as well, but it's going to be a matter of who can get these early picks and who can take side control because UMass has just done a perfect job of it for seven straight rounds. Yeah, Singler's lost, um, what is that? I mean, it's like eight of their nine last uh, nine rounds. Yeah. So on their buys and whatnot, and they're headed right back over to this attacking side, which is a very, very big problem, right? Because, or actually, no, that's good. That, that's yeah, they won on the attack, okay, so yeah, yeah, they yeah, have yeah, to so. get, I would say they have to get this one because the defense definitely saw massive struggles. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you on that one. That's exactly what I was trying to get at there. Dolan will be getting dogged off as Sinkler does make their way to site. There it is. Blossom good with two. Hybrid, yeah, he is going to get traded out. You're still in the player advantage, though, and site control as Vcan is good for another one. Utility getting sent through. They kind of have an idea of where these players are located. A good bird coming through to block things off. Wombat going to be planting this one down. Now a four on two. UMass have the pressure applied against them. The post plants are there for St. Clair. You have Boomer Tag down. I mean, you gotta win this one right here. Blossom gonna find that one. Gets a 3k. Vcan's good for two. Blossom Vcan doing it all in this one. And that's gonna now be St. Clair up one round. They're in another situation where they can win the game right here, right now. Yep. It all comes down to winning a defensive round. They haven't been able to do it as of lately. Now is the time. Is it bad? I almost want them to stimmy and blast pack through showers just to try to like, end I this sucker. I, is, that a, is that a crazy idea at this point after how many rounds you lost in a row? I, I don't hate the idea. And say you put Blossom on offense last round. He double blast packs down mid, finds two kills. I know that UMass was ready for it. But if I'm St. Clair, man, I might just send, I might just go full full crazy here and just absolutely try to take out UMass right away. Yeah, we'll see. It's going to be... Uh, I like that UMass spreads out their yeah. offense. They're so good about spreading it out, getting the intel they need, and then all collapsing into one target location. I feel like the B site is definitely St. Clair's weak point over yes. here. They're having a very, very hard time defending it, and as soon as they give up control, B site is very, very difficult to actually retake. Oh. Hybrid needs to get one. He will find one, gets traded out, but at least doing that is going to give them some intel, and that's two for Vigan on the Vandal. He's going to chamber out of the play, looking for a lineup through the smoke. Oh, Boonger approaching. Shoulder and shoulder. Boonger finds it. 3v2 in favor of St. Clair. That is going to be both players on site. And they retake. The smokes are down. Wombat Strider both on the other line oh, of Boonger no. here. And that is Boonger running into Wombat Strider for the trade. 2v1. UMass all left up to their Sova. Witness. Swing. Strider finds the last kill, and with all the dramatics you could ever ask for, St. Clair blowing a 12-5 lead, but coming back ah. and taking map three in overtime, and 
Man, that that's not a game you would have wanted to lose. So thankfully, able to close it out and go 14-12 on bind. This is not the first time they constantly try to give us heart attacks, man. Like, I, it's a job at this point for these guys, I swear. It's full time. Yeah, uh, they, they do clean up the win, but uh, it doesn't get much closer than that. I would love to see St. Clair be scrimming up against UMass here in the near future, yeah. or at least uh, actually be scrimming them as of lately, because yeah. it looks like they are uh, two teams that are very, very evenly matched. This series, I got to give my MVP to VCAN. Like, man, that guy was making a massive plays, dropping 31 yeah. in map number three there. Closest person to him was at 24. He has a 307 combat score. Blossom up there, 299. And those are the big difference makers. Yeah. VCAN and Blossom also had very big impacts in those overtime rounds. Yeah, look at the first bloods between Blossom and VCAN. 11 first bloods between the two. So Blossom with the double blast packs and VCAN. We hadn't seen him on the chamber at all because Casper usually has that roll locked down, plays it pretty well. But VCAN able to flex the chamber, man, coming out 30 plus kills. And even on the other agents on Icebox, the other map, I think he's 20 plus frags on both maps. So really deep agent pool. And this is exactly what you want to see out of St. Clair. Casper doesn't go in. Next man up, VCAN steps up. I got the chamber on. We'll hold it down for us. I think that's very confidence boosting to win the game without Casper yeah. here as well. Um, Casper, definitely one of the better, uh, I wouldn't say better players, but definitely one of the stronger players here throughout these uh, Valorant. Yeah. I mean, they throughout other teams. The entire throughout, playoffs, throughout the he was one of the stronger team, players. He's yeah. one of the stronger players, right? So you definitely like to have him involved. Also, I feel like Vikan, he popped off and dropped 31 on Chamber. Yeah. But... I, it, he seems to felt he felt like Casper's a little bit still more comfortable on Chamber, yeah. despite VKN dropping 31. VKN probably wanting to go back to his role a little bit more. Uh, Casper comes in, plays that Chamber and whatnot there. Yeah. And uh, I think things will be getting back nicer. I think if we do see Casper in this game, I think we see 2-0. Yeah, I would think so too. But VKN, man, going from Sage to Viper to Killjoy, say playing that lurking Killjoy and that we had to skate that grenade lineup. That's going to be the best clip of the night by far. Oh, for just sure. Just absolute hail mary, gorgeous double nano storm to stop the defuse. VKN just pulled everything out of his bag tonight and he was just straight cooking and that's exactly what you want to see if you're St. Clair. Yes, beautiful games. If you are St. Clair, they're going to advance to a 4-4 four and four record at NECC. They will have one more game left here for their season, I do believe, and that will be played out next week. So it's going to be very interesting to see if they can advance to a positive yes. record being 5-4. and four. And I believe that they would make playoffs with that record. So don't correct me on that. Like, don't don't, uh, don't nail me on that us. one. But uh, we are... Yeah, don't come for us. <laughs> but we are going to be... I think I'm fairly correct on that one. 5-4 record uh, will probably put them in that yeah, playoff position. Usually above 500. Um, pretty... But that is going to be UMass Lowell dropping down to now. I think it is 2-5. and five. They're 2 yeah. four coming into this game here. And uh, so the Saints are really doing a number of them. That might put UMass so well kind of maybe out of playoff positioning here soon. Yeah. They do have a few more games still remaining. So lots of time still left. Actually, I think they have two more because of a reschedule. Yeah. But uh, with that one being said, GG's all around. That was a very, very close game, and the scoreline definitely does represent it. Yeah, once again, we just keep getting amazing series, regardless of the league. Valorant, every team, even when teams seem to be, like, theoretically mismatched, like, anyone can do anything at any time. We see people die in five seconds, crazy ultimates. We see just so many different things. The game just plays out so many different ways, and once again, say, 12-5 to 5 to push it to overtime. So even the record does not show those guys had some fight in them. 100%. So before we do head out here, we do have some things to talk yes. about. The first of being first is going to be Crunchyroll, one of the premium anime and manga services. They are going to have a massive library of shows and uh, uh, series that you're going to want to watch there. So that will be at Crunchyroll.com backslash Saints. You guys can actually get yourself a 14-day premium trial for free. So make sure you guys go check out their collection. You're going to get that premium trial, and trust me, you're going to be wanting to uh, keep that premium yeah. afterwards. It's going to be Crunchyroll.com backslash Saints. Get your first 14 days for for free and thank you to our other sponsors here as well as we would not be able to do this show here without them so thank you to the tim hortons and the subway the st clair src and the st clair zeckelman school of business as well as the alumni association yes and all you viewers back at home i mean uh, valorant it's, it's a very nice game here to broadcast to you guys it seems to be that uh you viewers back at home love it yes so we do really appreciate bringing that to you guys every uh every so often here we actually yeah. haven't had a lot of valorant lately it's been awesome yeah I've, I'm, I'm living for it any the more valorant we can get the better put it all on my plate we love it and say we thank the thank the team for having a great Valorant game. A couple other sponsors. Well, we have the Academy coming up in True. the fall. This is the probably the biggest news at St. Clair coming in the fall. We have Academy coming up. We have 50 new scholarship positions, all esports titles supported, and a bunch of others. Open to all skill levels. Doesn't matter. Apply. Get your name on the short list. Get the grind up. Try to make your way onto a roster. You can apply at stclairsaints.ca backslash join. That's stclairsaints.ca backslash join for the Academy coming up in the fall. That red is so clean.
Yeah, and if you want to make yourself uh, your life a little bit easier, you can do exclamation mark join in chat. That makes things uh, nice and Much easier better. for yourself. So that'll be active as well. And talking about things that are active, that are running out of time, how about that TikTok giveaway? Winner will be drawn March 31st, and that is just around the corner here. I can't believe that we're already actually in March 28th. Crazy to feel. Uh, but that's a $50 Steam gift card. Going to be following our Twitter and our TikTok, taking one friend and liking, retweeting our post. That will be our pinned tweet over on our Twitter. Really trying to get some of uh, our TikTok promoted there. It's, yes. It's just came out in these past couple months so make sure you guys go check that one out and uh, get yourself entered to win a $50 steam gift card winner drawn March 31st so only a few days away until we will actually see a winner for that one yeah free content and free I say free Saints content and free money can't hate it say only three days March already almost over can't believe it so you better hurry only three days left for the giveaway However, if you don't get the giveaway, you don't get any Steam gift cards, you can still feel good if you pick up some of this Fresh Saints merch. Yes, sir. We always wear it. The jacket, I always got the jersey on. So comfortable. It's acquire.ca slash saints. They have jerseys, hoodies, hats, flags, flyers, you name it. Any Saints brand stuff you want. Hop on the bandwagon now because we're only going up from here. We'll still let you on. Acquire.ca slash saints, I believe, is the link. So go and check it out and get all your Saints merch. And I will say, we do actually update that merch store. We remove items and add items progressively year after year. So make sure you keep an eye. If you want something... Limited um, time. It could only be around for years, so so make sure you keep an eye out for that. I know last year we had a lot of a uh, a white more merch set there, but I love in this one we were uh, really messing around, calling it like the dark mode. Yeah, I like the beginning it. Beginning of the year, and uh, yeah, I love it. It looks very very nice and clean, all very comfy and very affordable. So if you're interested, once again, acquired.ca backs slash saints. But any final words here first, Jobin? Man, the Valorant team continues to produce, and I will continue to be here for it, minus the heart attacks. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> exactly the case. So, with that one being said, GG's to both teams. You, Mass Lowell, you guys played a great game as well as St. Clair. Can't wait to see more Valorant action here in the near future. But with that one being said, we will be back here tomorrow. I believe it's 6 p.m. with Rocket League. So, make sure you guys are tuning in for that. But with that being said, my name, Jackson the Pride Brown, joined alongside Daniel Jobin. And we'll catch you guys all on the next one. Has this ever happened to you? You tune in to watch Saints Gaming compete at your favorite title but you end up missing it. Scrolling through Twitter to find results is just such a chore, and it looks like there's no easy way to find out everything you've missed. Luckily, there's a solution. Hi, Millie Bays here, and I'd like to introduce you to St. Clair's Bird's Eye View, the number one show to keep up with everything about Saints Gaming. Get weekly recaps, see great highlights, hear exclusive interviews with players and staff, and so much more. That's Bird's Eye View, available in podcast or video form at a website near you.